and you're listening to A Daily Dose of Hope, healthy stuff so you can keep on trucking with Hope Savara and Chrome and Steel Radio. Hi, welcome back. Hope Savara here with A Daily Dose of Hope. I hope you're doing great. That was a lot of hope in one sentence, but that's all right. <laughs> I have a very special guest with me today. I'm really excited. Uh, Julie Dillon with the Rigs Without Stigs program. Uh, Julie is amazing, and I am so honored that we've kind of become a personal friend, which is great, and she's very passionate about truckers' health and well-being, and we're going to talk a little bit about rigs without SIGs and how truckers have another alternative or another opportunity that they may not know about to improve their health and well-being. Julie, thanks for being with us. Thank you. I'm so glad that you have me on today, and yes, I consider you a now personal friend, too. Awesome. Awesome. Well, let's kick it off. Why don't you tell listeners kind of who you are and what you do? Because what you were doing prior, maybe people don't realize, is not the roles that you're currently playing when it comes to Rigs Without Sigs and also the company that hosts Rigs Without Sigs. Correct. Well, I work with St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund, and we have a two-part mission at St. Christopher Fund. The first mission is to help drivers have incurred a financial difficulty due to a medical problem. So what we do is we try to become that stopgap for them. We know that we can't fill every need that they have, but maybe we can offer, you know, assistance with rent, electric mortgage, vehicle payments, things like that. Those things that you need to be able to stay healthy and get back out on the road and be able to drive again. So that's part, part, part one of our mission. Part two of our mission is preventative health. And those are things like our vaccine program and our rigs without SIGS program. We want to get on the front end of things and be able to offer some preventative programs for drivers so that maybe fortunately down the road, they won't have to call because they've had a catastrophic event happen or something happened in their lives where they need financial assistance because they've had a stroke or a heart attack or uncontrolled diabetes or you know, high blood pressure, things like that. So wow. that's our, our primary missions. I did not realize that you also have a vaccine program and you're helping people that this detailed with their health and wellness when it comes to St. Christopher Trucker Relief Fund. Um, Mother Trucker Yoga works with St. Christopher Fund and I knew that you guys did a wide variety of things, but this is fantastic. And although we're talking about rigs without SIGs today, can you just give a little insight into how people can get in touch with you about or how can they learn more about the deep level that you work with people when it comes to health and wellness? This is really fantastic. Well, if they want the vaccines, if they're interested in you know, getting the vaccines, which can be shingles, pneumonia, or flu shots, they can go to the website and get those. They're easily accessible. You can either print them, you know, use them electronically, or you can print it off a hard copy and take it to a Walgreens or a CVS, Minute Clinic, you know, things like that. You can go in there and just present that to them. Now, we do ask if people have insurance, that they you know, use their health insurance um, first. Or you can try that first, and if their health insurance doesn't pay for them, then use the vaccine vouchers. But we have spent you know, well over $20,000 in the last you know, little while, then I think within 2018, and then now into 19, you know, giving out vaccines for people, for drivers. Wow, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. And I think the reality is, is there's resources out there for you, and you might not know about them. So awesome opportunity to take advantage of that. But I want to talk about rigs without SIGs, because we all know, trucker or not, Trucker smoke. And, and this is not to pinpoint any one of you listening, but it is a reality. You're bored. You're in the truck all day. A lot of truckers struggle with anxiety or stress. Uh, oral fixation, if you know what that is, it's like I just need something in my mouth mm -hmm. to pass the time away. And even though you might not even like smoking, it's the need to have something to do while you're driving. And you and the St. Christopher's Fund and Rigs Without SIGs, you've kind of solved this problem in a very unique way. And I think a lot of truckers may not know that this program even exists. Can you tell us a little bit of the backstory about it and then how this all works? Well, we had been thinking about different preventative programs and we had looked at doing a diabetes program for drivers. And there's already something out there free for drivers that we found out. And, and I actually been talking with Tom Kirk, working with him and with some wellness 
programming and things. And he it, what had brought up to me that he had been approached by some people about something like this. And he's like, Julie, do you think this is something St. Christopher Fund would be interested in doing? And I said, you're not going to believe this. Which, you know, I should have known. It's just, it's the way that things always happen. I said, we have just been talking about this specific program. So actually it was Tom Kirk and I that worked very closely together for a while, getting this program off the ground and what it would look like and how we could help drivers. And it's just evolved. That was in, we actually kicked it off at GATS in September or August, sorry, it's September the 1st, but kicked it off at GATS in August of 2017. And it has just evolved over the past year and a half or so. You know, we didn't know if we would have five drivers register. And within the first six months, we had over 100 register. And you know, to date, we have um, 200, and, I think 217 people that have participated in the program. Now we do have more that have registered, but some people, you know, they 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 get excited about it and they want to get involved, and then they start rethinking it. You know, is this really what I want to do? So they, when we say 217 people that have participated in the program, those are people that have actually actively participated in the program now they're not all currently involved in the because you know some people phase out when they've quit smoking for a while they decide they don't you know really need us anymore i guess and so they phased out over the past year and a half and then we have some that have chosen to withdraw because they decide they just aren't ready to quit and i understand it, it is not easy to do it is a very difficult thing to do and so we i am not there we are not here to shame anyone or to make you feel guilty or to you know knock you over the head why won't you quit i understand it's hard it's difficult and i truly believe there is not one person that says oh i started smoking and now i am you know addicted because i want to be that, that's just not the way it is the majority of the people that sign up for our program they aren't short-term smokers these are people that have been smoking 25 30 40 years and most of them they started when they, when they were kids and it was cool. And, you know, it was, you thought it was the cool thing to do just to smoke, you know, behind mom and dad's back or whatever. And that nicotine is so powerful that you become addicted. Mm -hmm. It's just like so many of those other uh, drugs of choice out there. So highly, highly addictive. It's actually been proven. There's been some studies done between tobacco and the nicotine and tobacco and cocaine. And rats will not cross an electric current to get to cocaine, but they will cross that electric current to get to nicotine. Wow. Wow. It, it is that addictive. So when we come alongside people and we encourage them and we, you know, try to give them the tools to help quit, it's not to say, you know, this is what you should do and you're a terrible person. If not, we know how difficult it is. It's not an easy thing to do. Well, and that's kind of why you created this whole program was to offer the support. I know that you have a Facebook group um, that I'm actually in mm -hmm. and you see truckers all the time supporting each other, communicating with each other. And, and the cool thing is, is clearly you've built a safe place because I see truckers all the time posting, you know, if maybe they are like, oh, I had a cigarette and the mm -hmm. amount of support from other drivers just pools in of like, it's okay. Mm -hmm don't give up, that happens, like, it, don't throw this away. And so if you're a trucker out there thinking about quitting smoking, this is not just a program, go home, see you later, goodbye. Like, they've really created a program to support you in your journey. Um, I'm a recovering addict, and so I totally get it. Addiction just takes over, where it's just, you don't even realize until you wanna stop it, how much it has infiltrated your life and how so many of your things, your daily life and habits revolve around smoking. Some of my immediate family members are smoke smokers and it's like the second they get up, don't even talk to them until they have a cigarette. And you can yeah. see them getting anxious during the day if they haven't had a cigarette. So they've literally curbed their lives around that. And I, I have to tell you that like, I know how that feels. I lived that way for more than half of my life. And having support, if you wanna make that change is essential and rigs mm -hmm. without sigs is that support is that support there's no shame in realizing that you want to make a change there's no shame in going wow but i did this for like 20 years 30 years 40 50 years i've been a smoker like you know i i'm too far gone don't say that 
You are never too yeah. far gone. And the research, the research in you stopping smoking and what it does for your lungs and your body and how quickly the body can start to regenerate is fantastic. It's fascinating. So it's never too late. It's never too late to stop smoking. That's right. It is not. It, it, and I mean, I personally went through an experience with my dad and I watched the decline because he was a 50 year smoker, but he did quit. He quit for eight or nine years. And I truly believe in my heart, we would not have had him because he almost died. And he quit smoking while I was in the hospital and he came out and he stayed tobacco free for, you know, like I said, eight or nine years, we would have lost him within months had he not have quit when he did. And while it, you know, it wasn't the ideal quality of life that he wanted at that time, you know, but he got to see his, his great grandkids be born, which he wouldn't have seen that otherwise. And, you know, so he, he got to experience so many things that he would have missed. He got to see my, my daughter get married, which he would have missed had he not have quit when he did. And, you know, looking forward now and fast forward nine years with him, you know, it, that desire never went away. And so that's what I think we, even though you may quit smoking for two months or three months, that desire is still going to be there for a while. That desire didn't go away. And after, nine years when my dad, he started smoking again. And within six months he was gone. Wow. And so, you know, when you live through that on the other side and, and you see, when you see it from the perspective of the, the person that's watching them go through these different phases, you can see you know, just how hard it is and how, and it affects other people around you too. So and I think that's where the support comes in that you have created with Rigs Without Sigs because you can't always see clearly what you're going through when you're in it, when you're so heavily emotionally involved in it. And having right. that outside perspective is at the, in the moment sometimes irritating and annoying <laughs> and frustrating. And um, yeah, I could use some other words, but we're not going to use those. But it's essential because... Honestly, when I think about addiction, I think about smoking in particular, is that when we're in it, all we think about, well, if I stop smoking, you know, I'm going to be irritable and angry and, you know, I'm not going to be able to do this, this or this or, you know, all we're thinking about is that. And someone, when I was going through recovery, asked me to look at it and say, what are you losing if you don't stop? And mm -hmm. I would have never been able to have a family. I would have never been able to have children. I probably would be dead. Um, I probably would never have had quality relationships because I was so emotionally withdrawn and detached. I was irritable. I was like a ticking time bomb. I mean, anyone that's going through withdrawal or trying to get into recovery of anything, it's mm -hmm. yucky in the beginning. But the long term, like you were saying, eight or nine years you got with your dad. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And that's where a support system like Rigs Without Sigs comes in because in that interim of I'm angry, I want to smoke, I'm feeling anxiety, I don't know what to do, boom. Here's a program of support of people that are going through what you're going through and want to do what you want to do and get it. But there's also people that are on the other side that are also supporting you and have an outside perspective and are being your cheerleader because it's hard to do something alone, okay? You, Julie, and I both know that. For those of you listening, you know that. And that's why there's programs like this available. So Julie, can you tell the listeners, how do they sign up? How does the program work and how long is it? Okay, <clears throat> so here we go. So the program is designed to be a year long. Now that does not mean that if someone jumps right in there and does great, that they have to commit to a year. But that's the way the program is set up. And the way they register, is they go online to our website. It's truckersfund.org. You just go onto the site. You'll see something that says the health and wellness buttons there. And click on health and wellness and Rigs Without Sigs will pop up out to the, out to the left, I believe. And you just go on there and you'll have all the, regula the rules and regulations, the um, cash and prize incentives, the, the whole whoa, layout. Of whoa, wait, there's and cash and prize incentives. There are cash and prize incentives. That's one of the new things that we're offering. 
that. All right, just just to stop here for a second, let me say that again out loud. <laughs> there are cash and prize incentives for you quitting smoking. All right, for we got to take a time out. What do they get? What do they win? Okay, so if you join the program, the only cost to the drivers is if they pay, purchase the quit key. Now you can decide on there you want to quit cold turkey, and then there's no cost to you. You don't have to do the book download. You don't have to do the quit key. These are tools that we tell you we have found to be extremely effective in helping drivers quit. So we have the quit key. It's approximately $36. And we give you up to show you ways that you can order that. Or there's this book download that helps you quit smoking cold turkey. And I think it's around $15. And we give you the link to be able to do both of those. So you know, but you want one or the other, not both. So you're talking maximum out of pocket upfront for the driver is $36. And wow. then, so if you get the quick key and you're not able to quit smoking by it, if they say, you know, say this doesn't work for me, I tried this for a month and it didn't work, you can send it back and you can get your money back. So you're not out any money that way. If you do quit smoking or dipping or chewing, because it's not just about smoking, there's actually more nicotine in tobacco as far as dipping and chewing than there is. So it's actually harder to quit than smoking. But that's a that's a whole nother thing. Now, but if you do quit smoking or dipping or chewing and you are able to be tobacco free for one month and we do have a system set up in place for, for accountability purposes and things there, then we reimburse you for the quick key and you get $25 worth of road pro rewards points. If you quit smoking or, you know, or tobacco free for three months, you get a $50 value road pro gift and you get a $50 gift card. If you quit smoking for six months, you get a hundred dollar gift card. Compliments of St. Christopher fun. Guys, this now, is free money. This is free money okay. and free stuff. Here's the big one. And this is why we say the program is designed around one year. If you remain tobacco free for one year, then you will get a prize package, which is valued up to $200 which includes six months of mother trucker yoga, along with, with some other prizes <laughs> as well, and a $200 gift card from St. Christopher Fund. Wow. So it, there's huge you know, cash and prize incentives because we really want to invest in getting these drivers healthier. And mm -hmm. this is one way that we can do that. And we are so gracious to have good sponsorship of people like Mother Trucker Yoga and Road Pro and Progressive and Pilot that will step up and, you know, do this for us and help us with these drivers and to get them healthier. Fantastic. Well, and I think for many people, I just wanted to go back to the whole support thing um, because I get it having gone through recovery without support. I tried stopping an addiction. I, I struggle with an eating disorder and substance abuse and you name it, all of that stuff kind of goes together. Unfortunately, it is really hard to do it alone. Now I'm not saying that you can't, but if someone is offering support in a non-judgmental way, no strings attached, you can be yeah. anonymous or you can be as friendly as you want. Take it. There is no shame in deciding you want to change your life. That's one of the things I realized when we started Mother Trucker Yoga was initially some drivers, not all, would say, oh, I don't need any of that. And then I start talking to them and their back hurts, their feet hurt, their hands have arthritis, mm -hmm. they can hardly grip the steering wheel and unratchet straps anymore. They're not sleeping well. And all of a sudden the wall comes down and they're like, I'm too far gone. Well, in Mother Trucker Yoga, the average age of a driver that's on with us is 55 to 65 years old. I mean, it's, wow. so, it's never too late. I don't care how long you've been smoking. It's never too late. I truly believe that. And listening to some of these drivers in their Facebook group, they are so encouraged when they just make it one day. Now think about it. if you have a whole cheerleader of, t of people coming and going, hooray, great job, sending you emojis and, and congratulations. Mm -hmm. And like they could try to do it in person, but obviously they can't. This is why Facebook is so fantastic um, for these types of reasons that people that you don't even know are cheering you on. I got to tell mm -hmm. you, when someone believes in you, when you don't even believe in yourself yet, that can make all the difference. That can make all the difference. And Rigs Without Sigs has a program that this is embedded into. 
they already have that community support for you embedded in. So whether you want to do this and you want to surprise your spouse when they come home that you've decided to do this, or people have been nagging on you for years, or you just know that you don't want to keep on putting this thing in your mouth, but you don't know how to stop. Honestly, what do you have to lose? Well, the only thing you have to lose mm -hmm. is smelling like salt, <coughs> spending tons of money on, on this, losing out on family time because you are essentially cutting years off your life every single time you smoke. Mm -hmm. And I'm not judging you. I'm just telling you the facts. I'm just telling right. you what you can Google and you can read yourself. So there is no judgment. That's just like when people started telling me about what I was going to lose if I didn't stop with, with food the way that I was doing. My, my internal organs would shut down. I probably was never going to be able to have children. I would be lucky if I would make it into my 30s and my quality of my life would be essentially nothing. So that's the reality. And you have this opportunity to do something really amazing for yourself. And so my next question is, Julie, is what about the people that are supporting truck drivers that want to enter into this program? How can they either interact with rigs without SIGs or how can they inquire? Like, can they be a part of this at all? How does that all work? Anyone within the trucking industry, whether it be a driver, a spouse, a friend, a dispatcher, you know, regardless of what you do in the trucking industry, anyone can be a part of the program, but only semi-truck drivers are able and are eligible to receive the cash and prize incentives. Okay. You know, okay. We, can, we can offer the support and things to anyone out there like that, but due to our nonprofit status, and the, the, the guidelines that we have set up for our organization, it has to be a semi-truck driver with a valid CDL. Awesome. That is the, and, and be a resident of the United States. Okay, okay. And that's due to that nonprofit status. That's not something that we have decided or that we have created. That's something that as a nonprofit and the guidelines within our nonprofit to give money like that, that has to, that's the guideline. But the big prize, y'all, the big prize is that you are smoke free. You are cigarette free. Yeah. You are dip free. You have, you can now run with your kids and grandchildren without getting out of breath. You now can walk into a room and people don't go, oh, here's the smoker. And this is no judgment, but this is the reality. Uh, you, can, right. you can save. It's like a part-time job that you essentially have taken on when you stop smoking. That is the amount of money that you're saving mm -hmm. and putting into mm -hmm. your pocket every single time you don't buy a carton of cigarettes you don't buy a pack of cigarettes you don't buy chew that's essentially what you're doing for yourself imagine what you could do for your family with something like that imagine well, on our website we actually have a what they call a smoking calculator and you can put in what state you live in how much you pay for a pack of cigarettes how many you smoke a day and it will calculate exactly you know how much money you're going to be saving and what you can what that money what that equates to, equates to and what you can use that for you know if you choose to you know i have one guy whose wife said he took the money and set it aside and she's he's like she's like go buy yourself a boat with that and they, he saved up and he, they bought a boat one guy and then these are all drivers one driver he was able to buy six weeks of timeshare oh. and so now he and his wife travel six weeks out of the year together and, you know, you can use those for cruises or, you know, whatever. So he, that's some of the things they do for that. So, I mean, so there's just a little bit of thing. You, you can typically, the average smoker, if you smoke a pack or two a day, you could buy a good used car in a year. Oh, my gosh. And for those of you that love to deck out your truck, imagine all of the gadgets and gizmos and chrome that you chrome and buy steel? for your rig. <laughs> Imagine, imagine that, imagine that. And you could go to Jack's Chrome Shop and use the code DDH10 and get 10% off of your order of Chrome when you start to not smoke anymore. I mean, that's a win, mic drop. So I know many of you drivers I talk to all the time, your truck is your second child or your third child. Um, or so your home. You can do. Or it's their first child, even if they have kids. So imagine what they can do. And after the break, after after the break with Julie, I'm gonna pull that calculator out. I'm gonna go to that website and we're gonna do some math games. We're gonna we're gonna figure out how much you actually save 
and here's some numbers here so that you can really have this fresh in your brain how much money you actually save without smoking. I think one of the big things that I want to point out to truck drivers and those listening today, I just want to re-remind you that although smoking and when you started may have not necessarily been a conscious choice, it may have been a learned behavior. Maybe your parents didn't care that you smoked. Maybe mm -hmm. all your friends didn't. It was kind of like, well, I don't want to be uncool. And you didn't even realize that when you chose that cigarette, you were choosing 50 years of smoking and everything that came with it. You may not have realized that that choice, it might not have been a true conscious choice. But today, right now, you can make a conscious choice to stop. And that's right. the beauty of it. That's the beauty. The choice is solely yours. You are 100% in control of that choice. Except the difference now, the difference now is you actually have support for making that choice. Because I know all about regret. You make a choice and then you're like, oh gosh, I don't think I can do this. This is why I was on in and out of recovery for five years. It was really hard. It was really scary. And I had in my head the idea of perfection. It was all or nothing. Either I never binge and purge and I never overeat and I never over exercise and I never use food negatively again, or I suck. And what I realized that it was like each time I would maybe slip, I would actually look at myself in the mirror and go, okay, Hope, what can you learn from this? And I would literally have to out loud tell myself, okay, this is why I did this because I was feeling this. It was usually all based on feelings. And this is what I learned from this. This was what my trigger was. And then I would look at myself and say, I forgive you, Hope. And I'd move on. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds silly, but we have to forgive ourselves, okay? You have to mm -hmm. cut yourself some slack. So if you have a cigarette and you said, you know, yesterday that you were going to do this, or maybe you say today you're going to do this and you sign up and tomorrow you have a cigarette, it's okay. It's okay. The hardest part is that you actually said, hey, I think I might want to do this. I think I might want to improve the quality of my life, my family's life, my health. I think I might want to stop smoking. Maybe you go down to one pack a day from two packs. And then maybe you go down to a half a pack. And then maybe you go down to three cigarettes and then two and then one. And then there comes that day where you went all day without smoking. Nobody mm -hmm. with rigs without cigs or even myself or mother truck or yoga or anyone, is expecting you to quit cold turkey today. If that is not something you feel like you can do. I mean, am I right, Julie? I mean, this is, this Absolutely. is your process. Well, and that's the way the program is designed. Uh, typically we, our main thing that we recommend is using the quit key. And the reason being is that it does taper you off. Now there are some people that they have to just quit. Be done, that's it, no more, walk away. But the way the quit key is designed for a week, it gives you, you just smoke like regular and you click the button every time you smoke. And then it sets up a little system that's designed specifically to you and, and it tapers you off. So the person that smokes four packs a day, it's going to take longer for them to taper off and stop than the person that smokes one pack a day. And so it's designed specifically determining about how many you've been smoking on a daily basis. And it uh, divides that out and slowly tapers you off. It may be, you know, I have someone that goes, I'm up to 40 minutes between cigarettes and they're so excited. And then it's like, I'm up to two hours. Oh my gosh, you know, going from two to three hours is about to kill me, you know? And so it tapers you off and they, and they just gradually quit. It takes about a month. Awesome. Awesome. No, no, it's, it's not a walk away one term, well, you know, one time thing. But even after they quit smoking, you know, we're able to stay alongside them and go, okay, listen, when you're coughing up all that nasty stuff, that's normal. That's a good thing. You want to be, well, that, that happens more now than it did when I smoked. That's because it was all just sitting there. You didn't have the lung capacity to get it out. Mm -hmm. Now you do. And so, you know, it, that's normal. You're going to go through those things. This is like the so, ultimate cat hairball. Like that you're going to be coughing up so many cat hair balls. Okay. And then we are here to support you. Mother trucker yoga rigs it out. Sing, sing Christopher fun. We are here to support you. And that's where your community comes in. Post that stuff in the community and you will be floored at the people that you don't even know. The truckers that you don't even know are there to clap and cheer and congratulate you and help pick you up when you fall that literally you are not alone and so i know that there's a lot of shame and addiction i don't care what kind of addiction that you have and i want you to know and hear this from somebody that is on the other side now you have nothing to be ashamed of especially if you're choosing today 
to make a choice. You're choosing yourself. Mm -hmm. You may not have chose your addiction. You may not have chose to start smoking. You may not have fully understood that 50 years later, 10 years later, this would be your life and this is what you were doing, but you have a choice today to make that step, to take that step, to consider what it's like or even just visualize right now, right now as you're listening to Julie, I visualize what your life would be like a whole day where you weren't smoking and weren't thinking about when you had to have that next cigarette and weren't going into to the gas station or the truck stop and looking for as much change as you can to try to buy that pack of cigarettes, where instead you were picking up a banana and a thing of carrots and a bottle of water because it was like, Usually people that make one healthy choice start to make other healthy choices because they can't imagine their life like it was before. It's a trickle effect. And I guarantee you, I've worked with thousands of people making healthy choices over the last 20 years. It is a trickle effect and it will happen. And so believe and visualize what your life would be like with those choices. Going in and looking at the cigarettes and the chew behind the cashier and going, no thanks, I don't need that and how empowering that's gonna feel. Mm -hmm. And then when you go home and you tell your spouse or your kids that you're gonna take them camping for the weekend, or you have enough money to go to the carnival, or you're gonna buy that boat, or you're gonna buy that car for your 16 year old, even though two years ago you told them there was no way you could afford it. Whatever it is, <laughs> whatever it is, or you buy that chrome finally to deck out your rig. Whatever it is, that's available to you. Imagine a day, imagine a day. Imagine a day. And all you have to do, what did you say? It was like 34 bucks, 37 bucks to start mm -hmm. this. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Speaking of health and healthy choices, would you like to tell them what we've been talking about concerning Rich Stout Sigs and Mastigats? <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. So we are really excited because um, we are running a Matt's to uh, Accelerate Your Health Challenge. Mother Trucker Yoga is heading it up. And I just want to say, first of all, this is kind of exactly the premise of Rigs Without Sigs. This is not a you suck, you're unhealthy, I'm not fit enough to do this. This is a what do you want to work on when it comes to health and wellness? Let us support you. I'm not, we're, we don't tell you what diet you should do or, or how you should do it. We're like, what do you want to work on? Let's help you. What do you want to know more, know more about? Let's get you that information. And Rigs Without Sigs and Mother Trucker Yoga with Accelerate Your Health, Matt's to Gats Challenge, we want to work together. We want to incentivize you even more to be able to jump on the healthy bandwagon. Yes, there is a healthy bandwagon in the trucker community. And toot toot, <laughs> we are leading that. We are leading that because I believe I don't believe, I know, I know truckers can live a healthier lifestyle than they are right now. It's a choice. And we want to make that choice easier for you. We want to hold your hand while you make that choice. We want you to know there's no shame in wanting to be somewhere else than where you are right now. And that's why we're doing what we're doing. So you can join Rigs Without Sigs and Matt's to Gats Accelerate Your Health Challenge. Um, well, one, by going to the Rigs Without Sigs a Facebook group and also the website. What was the website again, Julie? It's truckersfund.org. That's where the registration link is. Okay, cool. And we are going to be implementing that program into the Mats to Gats Accelerate Your Health Challenge. And you can join our Facebook group. It's free. You can join our community. And we are just kicking it off. We literally are just kind of moving into this here. You can also go to mothertruckeryoga.com, and there's literally a pop-up. Boop! right when you log on that says, join this challenge. And you can be added to our weekly emails and our information to learn more about Rigs Without Sigs and learn more about how you can continue to accelerate your health. Julie, any other thoughts, comments, anything you wanna to say to truckers that you maybe feel like we could leave them with a few thoughts? One, again, remember the prizes. Remember the prizes. You get rewarded for Absolutely. your health. Just, you know, you have touched on everything so eloquently, you know, just that there is no shame in, in being a smoker and that we will come alongside you and work with you to help you be tobacco free. Um, I am a former smoker. I, I was one of those closet cool kid smokers that smoked for, for 10 years. And so I know what it's like to walk through that process. And I think that, um, and I, I think that Hope would agree with me that when you've been there, 
it's much easier to walk alongside someone and hold their hand through it when you walk that road as well. So, and so I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I've been um, as a former smoker and then also as you know, being the daughter of a chronic smoker who saw on her dad's death certificate that said contributing factors cause of death and tobacco abuse was on the, the death certificate. So I've been on both ends. And so, so I won't be there to judge. I, that is the, the, this is my heart to help people get healthier. And, and this is one of the main ways to do this if you smoke. And so, and this is the main reason I stayed because I originally due to some, you know, different family situations, health situations, I had decided not to be a part of St. Christopher Fun anymore just because I had to take care of some family. And then I lost my dad and I ended up staying on just specifically to, to continue running this program. So, you, you know, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. Um, you can email me at julie at truckersfund.org if you think that you, you're kind of interested but not sure if it's really what you want to do yet. And I can give you some more specific information or go to the red website and register at truckersfund.org. Awesome. And Julie, I just really appreciate you also sharing that with people um, that, like, like you said, and like we've been talking about, there is no shame in this. The only shame is the fact that you're not reaching out. You're not taking that. Like, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. <laughs> Remember, what am I losing if I don't do this? That's the way we have to start thinking when we take our health back into our hands. What mm -hmm. is the loss? What am I losing out on? What is the cost if I don't do this? It is way bigger, my friends, than, mm -hmm. than staying where you are. I would not have my three children if, it was, if I was going to stay where I was. I probably wouldn't be married. I probably wouldn't be here right now talking to you about it. I, 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 I probably, I probably wouldn't. I'm, I'm pretty certain I wouldn't. So what's the cost? We want you to live a long and healthy life. We want you to enjoy your family and friends. We want you to love truck driving because I know many of my truckers out there, and Julie, I know you can agree, you are passionate about what you do. How about mm -hmm. now we help you be healthy and enjoy it even more and accelerate your passion for what you do? And it's a trickle effect. You do this, now your trucker friend's gonna wanna get healthy and their friend and their friend. One person can really make a difference. What if you're that one person? What if? And so we really hope that you consider this today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Julie, thank you so much for being our guest today. And remember, truckersfund.org, you can find them on Facebook. They do have a private Facebook page and you can join their community once you join the Truckers Fund. You gotta go to the website. And remember those amazing prizes. If you wanna know more about the Mats to Gats challenge, you can go to mothertruckeryoga.com. You can also just join us on Facebook and join in on the fun. And we are here to help you. In any way that you need, we are there to help you. If it maybe truck, uh, smoking is not your issue, we can point you in the right direction. So just know we're not going to turn you away and go, oh, we don't help with that. We will, we will try to direct you in the direction that you need. Mm -hmm. If smoking is not your deal, we will, we will find you the resources that you need. No trucker has to be shamed for some of the things that they may be dealing with behind the scenes. And that goes for anybody, really. So Julie, thank you so much for joining us today. And for the rest of the truckers, we will be back shortly after a brief break and word from our sponsors. Thanks so much. I get it. Who has time to work out anymore? At MotherTruckerYoga.com, we have easy three to five short minute videos to help you feel better wherever. Visit us at MotherTruckerYoga.com. And you're listening to A Daily Dose of Hope with Hope Savara and Chroman Steel Radio. Welcome back. Hello and welcome back, everybody. How are you? I hope you enjoyed the interview with Julie Dillon from Rigs Without Sigs and St. Christopher Trucker Relief Fund. I thought I'd put on my mother trucker yoga hat. Um, how are you? So we were discussing smoking. And the opportunity that the Trucker Relief Program has out there for you to stop smoking. And as she said, this does not just include truckers. It is spouses and family members and even dispatchers and company owners. Uh, however, you don't get the prizes unless you're a truck driver. But you get the prize of no longer smoking and having your health back, which is fantastic. One of the things that she mentioned was that she has a calculator on their website. So I actually went there during the break 
and I did a little math for you, okay? I looked up the average cost of a pack of cigarettes, a 20 pack. The average cost is $5.51, okay? Average cost of a pack of cigarettes. Yours might be more, yours might be less. This is the average. And for one pack a day, if you are a smoker and you pack one, you smoke one pack a day, that is at the end of the year, you are saving $2,012.53. What could you do with two grand? Let's think about that. You could buy a new to you used car. You could go on a family trip. You could deck out your rig. You could buy a whole new wardrobe. You could, who knows what you could do. Tons of stuff, remodel your house, get new carpeting, um, whatever it is. Pay down debt with $2,000. Heck yeah, you could totally do that. It gets better. If you smoke two packs a day, which is essentially 40 cigarettes when we're looking at a 20 pack, that is 730 packs of cigarettes a year you, my friend, are smoking. That is a savings when you quit and you've quit for a year, okay? That is a savings of $4,025.05. Let's not forget the five cents. That is fan frickin' tastic You could go to Disneyland with your family for $4,000. You could take a trip. You could buy an even better new to you used car. You could pay down debt. You could remodel more of your house. You could surprise your spouse with stacks of dollar bills. <laughs> but more importantly, you get your health back. You get your health back and are literally being paid to do it because you're not spending money on cigarettes anymore. It gets better. If you are a smoker and you smoke four packs a day, I know some of you out there do that and I get it. I, my background is addiction. I understand that. Like I'm, I'm out on the other side. So I'm still working with some mindset stuff, but it is possible. You can do this. I believe in you. And the reality check for me was I did the math. I was spending, get ready for it. I was spending eight to 10 hours a day, binging and purging, obsessing, sleeping, criticizing and analyzing, counting calories and over-exercising per day, per day. I'm going to be really honest with you, okay? I was binging and purging up to eight to 10 times a day. And I know this is not smoking, but I get addiction. I get how you just can't help yourself. I get how you just feel like you cannot stop, like it is out of your control. I understand the emotional and mental components that go with it. I get the anxiety. I get the stress. That was my coping mechanism for anything I had to feel in life. I did not like feeling. I was a professional not feeler. I had dedicated my life to not feeling. Hence the reason why I had an eating disorder. And then I realized one day that I wanted to get better and recovery was not easy. I was in and out of recovery for many years, um, as in trying to get into recovery, I should just say. And then I finally really acknowledged that I had a problem. I was getting older and I wanted, I was in my 20s and I wanted to have a family. And I recognized that I didn't want to have a family with an addiction. I didn't want to have a family living this way, trying to sneak around, trying to act like I was normal, trying to, trying to do all these things, but I couldn't because I had this problem. And I admitted myself into outpatient. And I started to acknowledge I had a finally, for the first time ever, had a community of support of people that understood what I was going through. That's why Rigs Without Sigs is here. That's why Mother Truckers Yoga is here. No judgment, no criticism. We support you. And it was this kind of math that I did. I was so disgusted with myself. I was so disgusted with myself that I was wasting, I'm using the word wasting because that's essentially what I was doing. I was wasting precious time on this earth doing stuff like that. How can I impact the world? 
when I'm obsessing about stuff like that, assessing about food, uh, assessing about how long I should be exercising, assessing about what I was putting in my mouth and how the hell was I gonna get it out of my body as fast as possible, analyzing and criticizing the entire world around me. How could I impact the world? How could I have a family? How could I essentially be anything of value when I was living that way? And this is not about you, I'm talking about my personal life. Um, I, I'm simply sharing, there is no judgment here, but maybe you can relate. If you smoke four packs of cigarettes a day, okay, four packs, let's do the math, four times 20. Crazy, four times 20, what would that be? 24, this is 80 packs a day, or 80 packs, 80 cigarettes. That is insane, 80, say that to yourself. 80 cigarettes. That is, get ready for this. 1,461 packs a year. A year. If you quit smoking four packs a day, get ready for this. You will save yourself. This is literally a part-time job, a small part-time job. $8,050.11 on an average pack of cigarettes that cost $5.51. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We are talking about smoking and the cost of smoking and how to stop smoking and the support that's out there for you if you want to stop smoking and the trucker relief fund, how they have the program Rigs Without Cigs. And we are talking about what it costs for you to quit smoking. And the cost is that you actually get paid. You actually get paid to stop smoking. One, Rigs Without Cigs and the St. Christopher Trucker Relief Fund actually pay you. But aside from that, you are gaining a small second income. A small second income. And if you go to truckerreliefund.org, or that actually might not be the right website here, um, truckersfund, sorry, .org truckersfund.org. You go there and actually the calculator on the bottom of it also tells you over the course of 30 years how much money you also are saving, which is like pretty fantastic. I think the, the four pack one was like $480,000. I mean, that's a new house. Like that's insane. Insane. So what is keeping you back? What is holding you back? What, what is keeping you from saying, I think I might want to stop smoking. Do you like it? And if you like it, do you like living longer? Do you like being able to do some of the things that maybe you're not able to do because you're out of breath all the time? Because you don't sleep well? Because your skin maybe isn't looking so great? Your bones hurt? Your back hurts? Guess what? Smoking is linked to back pain. Data doesn't lie, guys and gals. What are you willing, what are you willing to give up to continue to smoke? And this is not a public service announcement. I am not judging you. I have plenty of truckers that work with Mother Trucker Yoga and are smokers. And that's okay because I believe one healthy change leads to another. So maybe you're not ready to quit smoking today or tomorrow, or next week. And that's okay. That is okay. But maybe you're interested in adding a little mother trucker yoga to your life. One stretch here, one stretch there, simple, easy movements in the cab of your truck, three to five minutes. I could do that. I could do that. And here's the magic that happens when you implement healthy things into your life, even if it's not the thing that maybe you want to change. Maybe. I said maybe. You start to see a positive change in your life and you want to make more. You get a new high on endorphins. You get more brain stimulation, more serotonin, more endorphins, more neurotransmitters going to your brain and going, ooh, this feels good. I'm liking this, that you're not getting, or you're not getting as much of doing what else you're doing, that you start to make more changes. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. 
we're here to support you. You're not alone. We care about you. Even if you don't even know we care about you, even if you just met me today, even if you just met Julie, we care about you. We want you to be, we want you to be in your best health. I believe, I believe that every single trucker has the opportunity to live a better quality life, to be healthy on the road. I not only believe that, I know it's possible because I'm seeing it happen right in front of my eyes. These eyes, all four of them, okay? I'm seeing it happen every single day. Truckers are making that decision. Their companies are making that decision. It's slow, but it's happening. And you can be a part of that. You can feel better. You can live longer. You can see your kids, have grandkids, and be able to get down and run around with them, and not be coughing up a lung. You can do that. I believe in you. There is no judgment. I gave up that a long time ago when I realized how freaking hard it was to get into recovery. My father's a smoker. He's been smoking his, most of his entire life. He started when he was in like high school or um, grade school, not grade school, middle school. Similar to maybe how many of you are. He's in his 60s now. I don't judge him. It's his choice. I support him and I'm here to support him. And if he wants help, I'm here. Otherwise, it's okay. It's his choice. I do not judge him. I do not judge him. And I'm not judging you. And Julie's not judging you. But we are here to support you. And we are here to assist you in exploring that opportunity that's available to you. And with the Trucker Fund, it's like 34 bucks. Seriously, 34 bucks. And if you quit, they give you that money back. Pretty sweet, huh? So here's the deal. Here's the deal. I want to know. I want to know. Are you interested in exploring the idea of quitting smoking? Are you interested in regaining a little bit of your health? Because I know firsthand, stopping something like smoking isn't easy. For some it is, kudos to you, okay? We're here to support you too, and you could be a support system for somebody else, but we're here to support you, okay? Through the struggles, through the emotional breakdowns, through the frustration that comes out of it, but it is possible. I was told, I was told by not just one, but two highly trained medical professionals when I was going through outpatient treatment that best, this is their words exactly, best case scenario, I learn how to function in this world on medication. That is what they told me. And sitting there in that office with the two of them, not just one, but two of them telling me this, I decided that day in that office that that wasn't going to be my future more so i actually like in my head gave him the middle finger and said f you but <laughs> this could be a family friendly show so we're gonna we're gonna skip that part but i decided right there that they were not going to determine my future i was not gonna be a statistic to sell drug products to I realized that my addiction was so tied into my emotions and they wanted me to feel less so that I could somehow get better. That made no sense to me. That made no sense to me. That's how I found yoga. Yoga helped me to not feel and feel at the same time. It lessened the intensity. And guess what? Mother trucker yoga, I may not be taking you through a 60 minute class, but you slowing down, thinking about something else other than what you're thinking about and breathing and moving and oxygenating your muscles and feeling pain dissipate does something to the brain. It does something to the brain. And as a result, you want more of that. That is the high I can offer you. That is the high I can offer you. But you have to take the first step. I had to take the first step. No one did it for me. I had to take it. It's available to you. You can take it. I believe in you. I believe in you. If no one told you that before, I believe in you. And so I'll leave you with this final thought. I'll leave you with this final thought. I believe you should never lose hope. Never lose hope. 
that you can always make a positive change. You can always make a positive impact. I don't care if you're a trucker, you're a dispatcher, you're a stay-at-home mom or dad, you're currently unemployed, whatever you are. Maybe you're a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Never lose hope that you can make a greater impact and that you can live the best quality life available to you. It's a choice. And I'm here to support you in that choice. All right, guys, until next time, thank you so much for tuning in to Chrome and Steel Radio and A Daily Dose of Hope. I want to thank one of our top sponsors, which is Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett, Truck Stop, TA Truck Stop in Greenville, Tennessee. They are fantastic. They have some amazing, amazing amenities there, clean showers and bathrooms. They are fantastic. Please let them know that Chrome and Steel Radio, specifically Hope, sent you, and they will treat you like family. Thank you guys so much. Until I see you next time, stay safe out there. Bye now. And you've been listening to A Daily Dose of Hope with Hope Savara. Thanks for tuning in.